once you get off the plane on Anguilla, it's almost like someone's whispering in your ear, relax. We are not crowded, no cruise ships, no casinos, nothing of the sort. So it's a nice place to come and relax. Even if the island is pretty busy, you can go to a beach and you're the only one there. We do have beautiful beaches. We have great cuisine from barbecue to the high-end restaurants. But what really makes Anguilla special is its people. When you come to Anguilla, you feel like you're a part of the culture. I think that's what's really unique about Anguilla. You're welcomed into local events. You're welcomed into everything. Everybody kind of does things together around here. We hang out at the Dune quite often with Banky Banks. How I miss the island sunrise. This is not an island like Jamaica or Trinidad where we had steep hands. It's very folky, very maritime. So it was always traditional music. Anguilla is how the Caribbean used to be 30 years ago. Masiliki well, is a fantastic place to come and spend the day. You have lunch, have our rum punches, which we are famous for. We have live music on Wednesdays. You go swimming, snorkeling. You can just about do anything. To get here, we have a free ferry. You are picked up in Island Harbor. You go on the pier. You wave your hands like an idiot. We'll see you and send the boat over to get you. Silly is real laid back. Fantastic food. You can lay out and enjoy. When you come to Anguilla, it's such a peaceful island. I think it's an easy transition to have someone come in here and really relax. We have some very unique treatments. We have a pina colada pedicure. We do aqua massage therapy, and we also have a cucumber aloe wrap, and it's for people who have been overexposed to the sun. We just like to make people feel better once they leave here, and they do. The Sunset Lounge is the hub of the resort. It's where people spend most of their time when they're with us, and our cocktails are famous across the island. As it gets towards sunset, being Sunset Lounge, it is the place that our guests go to to capture the sunset. The location looking out over Barnes Bay is second to none. When I started this, Sandy Ground had little or no restaurants at all. Now, Sandy Ground is filled with restaurants. Jano's is the, like the oldest one on the beach. You go to Jano's, you can get real good island food. It's fungi, green banana, snapper, island style. We're well known for steamed fish and fungi. The fungi is made from cornmeal and okra. It's the big hit here. I think people are pretty blown away by the view. I mean, we're right on one of the most spectacular beaches, so it's pretty magical when you step into the place. Go to a place like Straw Hat, you'll be this close to the water eating the freshest food there is. We kind of try to cater to everybody and bring everybody in. I mean, we have a club sandwich, but we also have fresh snapper. We're an unpretentious restaurant on an island that uh, does cater a lot of the time to the rich and famous. I try to do food that is inspired by warmer parts of the world with as much local stuff as I can get in. So mahi, snapper of course, lobster, crayfish when I can get them. Most people think of it as an Indonesian treehouse. It kind of feels that way. There's a 360 degree wraparound veranda and then there's a central room that where the bar and the lounge is located. Live music is set up there. I think that we have done an awesome job of fusing some of Anguilla's culture, the music and the food together. I like Little Bay because it's like a little cove. Lots of bird watching, cliff jumping, snorkeling. It's everything in one. It's a secluded little place. I start my boat service from nine o'clock in the morning. They go find me under the tree at Crocus Bay. When I take them there, I show them the snorkeling along the shoreline, where they find the starfish. Sometimes you find manways and sea turtles. This is probably the best beach for swimming. And on a sunny day like this, what could be better than taking a private dip? Not a lot of people around. We 
we ride on the beach because I find that it's everybody's dream. So they're usually pretty happy when they get to tick that off the bucket list. When people arrive at the stable, we give them a little orientation really of what they're supposed to do. Uh, but the horses are pretty easy going, so they're used to beginners as well as experienced riders. Then we head off to the beach. It's a very freeing experience. You're out there in the breeze and they say, OK, pinch me, is this even real? get on the water you really get to see some of what the island has to offer, some of its secret spots, secret coves, places that you just can't get to. It's amazing. We do a lot of fun trips. I mean it's really nice. Snorkeling, sunset cruises, fishing trips. We treat our guests like they're our kids so when they come here the guests don't know anything. We know it all and we're just gonna just pamper you. So they call us the dream team. We love out here. This is what we do and this is what we love. Some people say you have a lot of tourists here, do you guys get tired of it? I'm like, no, we're really welcome here. This is paradise. There's no place like it. <laughs>